Hi, my name is Maria and what we're going to do today is have a look at the pattern for the violin. This is a cut and fold pattern and the, the full pattern is available on my Etsy shop. But um, basically what we have is a violin with a, a backdrop that's folded back to 7 centimeters. Then the violin bo body here is folded back to 4 and then uh, the raised parts of the violin um, are at um, three and a half and three centimeters. So it just gives you um, more of a dimension uh, to the violin, which uh, I think you'll agree gives a, a great result. Okay, so what you get um, when you buy the pattern are basically two PDF files to be downloaded. Uh, one is the pattern and, uh, and obviously the instructions that go with it. And these, these are just um, written instructions taking you through step by step. Now for the pattern, uh, what you get is obviously the measurements that you need to create the violin. And then also there's several pages of, of that. But also what you get um, are some various illustrations that you can use to um, personalize your gift if it's a gift that you're doing um, with tags or cards etc um, and it, it's uh, the pictures really correspond to to the pattern that you're doing so here obviously we have violin and there's also various tags etc with the violin on it and also done it on sepia color so that um, you know you can tie it in with the colour of the pages and also there's um, a couple of uh, music pa pages as well. Basically what that enables you to do, if I just get them here, is to make things like um, a tag here. So this, this was um, printed out on blue paper uh, to create the violin there and just uh, added some little um, stars etc on there as well and this one with some ribbon down the side and the music paper here as well um, to to create a card but also uh, with the music papers what I did is, is printed it out on blue paper again to tie in with the, the tags etc and you can put them on the inside covers back and front and that just makes the violin stand out a little bit more as as well so those additional sort of PDF files allow you to to do that I think it does does make a difference. So if we go back to the um, pattern. So um, if we have a look at the instructions here, the first thing you've got to do is to find the first um, page to fold. Uh, now it goes through how to do that. I won't be covering that here, but there is a separate um, video to do that. Um, and it's lesson five of my book folding basics tutorial. You can find that on my website, lovebookfolding.com. OK, so that's um, take you through how to find out the starting page. Now, what I've got here um, is as though we found our starting page. This is just my demonstration book. Um, so, um, you know, don't take in, into it at all. Don't take any notice of um, the page that I'm starting here. I'm just using it basically to to um, uh, show you how uh, to do the folding and cutting. So we go to um, the instructions and we go starting the pattern. OK, step one, where the pattern states fold to seven, seven, sorry, seven centimetres, fold the page vertically seven centimetres from the outer edge of the page. So this is figure two. So um, basically on the violin, um, fold number one right through to 40 you're folding to seven centimeters. If I bring um, the book back here, the completed one, um, what you can see here, it's, it's just creating these first pages before you start folding and cutting for the, uh, for the violin. So it's just the, this first section. So basically what you're doing is getting your measure. Now you can use a short ruler, but what I tend to do is to get a piece of card with the markings on for, for where you're going to be marking and it's just a piece of card basically with a, with a flap there at the end so I just tuck that over the end like that. Now I'm going to use a pen here um, so that you can see it much more easily but uh, you'd be using a pencil. So basically the end of this card here is at 14 so 
um, what you're doing is measuring to double, yeah, for the seven, so it's up to 14, so that then creates your seven centimeters. Then you either use a bone fold or your finger here. So if I just show you there, um, that what you're doing is this fold here is seven centimeters from the edge of the book. Okay, so that's all you do right through um, from fold one through to 40 just to create those. Now I'm not going to do them all here, but basically do it again. Measure the, to the 14, fold your page up to four, up to that mark at 14 to give you your seven centimeters from the outside edge. Okay, so do all those. And then what we're then doing is step two, fold number 41 and onwards, fold the page vertically seven centimeters from the outside edge of the page as we did in step one. Okay, so we'll do that. So again, just as we've been doing, up to 14. Okay, so that's the seven centimeters. Then open the page out flat again. So open it up to there. And then that's step three. Then step four, fold this page again, four centimeters from the outer edge of the page. Okay, so this time leave it folded. So what we're doing is getting our piece of card. I've already got eight, lost my pen, eight marked on. So that's the double four, obviously. So mark the eight, fold up to the eight. Rub our finger or bone folder along there. And as you can see, that is now four centimeters from the outside edge, that, that fold there. Okay. So then step five and our instructions. So we're leaving that folded. Okay, so step five, mark all the measurements given for the fold number down the folded edge of the page. So we get our ruler. Now, I know I've had queries about this ruler before, and basically it's a standard um, uh, plastic craft ruler, which I've attached a piece of plastic to the end, so it just hooks on the edge there. You can actually buy them like this, but um, I just adapted, adapted one. So lost my pen again, here we go. So for fold 41, we've got, hiding there, 22.2. So we're doing it on the edge, on this new edge, the folded edge. So it's 22.2 and 22.5. So they're the two marks. Okay, that's step five. Then step six, cut the sheet horizontally at each of the marks until the end of the folded flap. Now, when I say folded flap, sorry, I don't think you could see those marks. So I've just marked the 22.2 and 22.5. Okay, so the flap I'm talking about is, is this flap. So we're cutting to the end of this flap here. So we take our scissors. Now normally you've got text, something to follow to keep it nice and straight. But basically we're just cutting to the end there. And again, on that mark there. Okay, so that was step six. So step seven, start by folding the top cut section. So this top cut section to the centimeter fold. Now because we've already folded, it's a lot easier particularly when you get into the, the smaller folds to just pull that back to that seven fold. Okay, and then step eight, leave the next section at the four. So this is this little tab here that we've created and then alternate between folding back to the seven fold and the four centimeter fold. Okay, so seven, four, seven. And obviously, when you get more folds, that's um, going to become more apparent. OK, so basically, that's your fort, um, fold number 41. OK, and you just carry on like that, measuring all the uh, marks for each fold. Now, obviously, as you get further along, then there's more folds 
more cuts to make now I just want to move fast forward a bit to where we've got the different um, where we folded back to different uh, measurements okay so if we go forward so you carry on doing the same thing up until 101 then when you get to 102 you've got so you're starting to get into shaded cells or shaded um, marks so basically um, the sections made by the cuts that mark shaded yellow on the pattern sheet create the raised parts of the violin so basically as I get this back here we're just folding back to a different measurement but it's it's highlighting those to where you're folding back okay that's that's really all we're doing at this stage so when they're yellow then we need to be folding back to three and a half centimeters from the outside edge okay similarly um, as you move on there's um, further ray sections which I've shaded red and orange now they're both folded back to three centimeters from the outside edge now the ones that are orange okay are these tiny um, little where the, the where the string connects I don't know whether you can see that there's these now these because they're tiny they're really quite small they can be a bit fiddly and some people don't like that so that's why I've colored them orange so you can omit them you don't have to do them if you don't want to um, so just ignore the orange markings um, if uh, if you want to that's absolutely fine so if we fast forward to one where there's there's um, all three colors okay so if we fast forward say to number 130 fold number 136 that'd be a good one to do to show you so basically first of all we're folding back to seven so in the same way oh that creates that first fold the backdrop if you like to the violin so that's back to seven then we open up again as we did before and we fold back to eight okay Just checking you can see that so that's back to eight and I'm doing this, this quite quickly obviously you can take more time and be more, more accurate with it then we leave that folded we put our ruler on the edge there and we mark off each of the marks so one three six is eight three five eight one two three five and then thirteen point five 13 13.5 13.8 13.8 16.3 16.3 16.85 16.85 21.15 then 21.65 one six five twenty one eight five and then twenty one sorry twenty two point six twenty two six okay so they're all the measurements for fold number one three six so if we just cut horizontally at those marks So the end of that flap nearly done last one okay so um, now we need to do the folding so as before the first one goes back to seven and basically what we've got with these colorings you're pairing up so the tab created between the two reds 
um, the two reds will be folded back to um, three centimeters okay from from this outside edge um, the tab created by the two yellow will be folded back to three and a half centimeters from the outside edge and then the tab created by the two orange will be again folded back to um, three centimeters now it's these orange ones that um, create the connectors for the strings which are the the little um, fiddly ones that you might want to admit uh, admit sorry so if you, if you don't want to fiddle around with with the little ones sometimes they can tear off if you if you're not too careful then it's the orange ones that you just ignore uh, just ignore those marks uh, and don't cut it there and then you'd you'll end up with a tab between 21.5 for one fold number 136 and 22.6 and then you just fold that tab back to um, three and a half centimeters so um, so yes yeah, so the first if we go back to this first section seven second section is four then alternate so you're going back to seven again and this one's four this is the first colored section so we're going back to um, for this one it's red so it's three centimeters so basically you get your card now what I tend to do is just put a little mark on the um, the tab that you've created above it so this is three so we want to mark it six centimeters yeah and then we then fold and line up the edge of that flap with on, on that mark there so then you get a fold that's three centimeters from this outside edge here okay um, so the next section is um, so we've done these two marks here so the next section is this tab here so that's back to four centimeters then the next one is this 21 so if we weren't doing these it would be 21 to 25 so it would be this whole um, tab here because you wouldn't have this cut here there oh, I need to move that up a little bit I'm sorry um, so yeah so it's it's this section here we're talking about because it's the yellow uh, if we're not doing these orange sections then we'd just be folding back to three and a half now because I'm showing you how to do um, the orange part as well this part will be to three and a half so double that up so mark the tab above at seven and then fold this tab the edge edge of that on that seven mark so this gap here uh, measuring from the edge of the page to the fold is three and a half centimeters and then also the other part of the yellow one will be the same and then this center section here which is the orange one that's the one that's going to be now back to three centimeters so again just do a mark for six so you know where you're lining that up to the edge of that tab to six and then folding that and then last but not least that uh, last one then stays at four now as you work through it'll become easier you'll flow a lot easier because you know what you're doing and what you're folding back to but basically that's that's what you you're doing i hope that's uh, made it clear you just then follow through the pattern and right to the end and so then you end up with your violin okay i hope that's helped and um, you can follow that through if you've got any queries at all you know please um, send me a message um, either on youtube or via the website on the contacts um, or email me maria at lovebookfolding.com and um, obviously have a look at the website as well uh, lovebookfolding.com thank you very much i hope you enjoy and good luck and bye for now